Hello everyone, so in this video we will talk about the tips and tricks of Grasshopper. So in the previous video we have drawn three curves in Rhino interface using the command curve and we have divided these curves into segments. So we have divided these curves in segments in whole numbers like 43, 44, 45. We can also divide these curves in decimal numbers as well like 34.5. 34.7 whatever you want to add so we will take a component called divide length and we will right click on the curve in parameter and select the middle curve in the rhino then we will set the length and we will take a component number slider which will be helpful for taking the value for the length so we will edit the numbers number in number slider to 0 0.5 to let's say 20 then uh, after that it can like measure the value in coins so we'll connect it to length parameter so we'll turn off the preview of the white curve and the other components also like we can turn it off by clicking on spacebar and the menu will appear and then you can click and then you can just uh, turn off the preview then you again repeat the process and just turn on, turn on the preview and if you want to like, remove any wire from a component you can press control and then you can just remove the wire from that component and uh, if you want to insert uh, more than one wire uh, in any components then you can hold shift and then you can insert two wires in one parameter and also if you want to shift the number of wires from one component into another component at once then you can control shift and you can move all wires from one output parameter to other output parameter then you just delete the divide curve and the count component so we have replaced a part of our algorithm with minimal effort uh, so a grasshopper algorithm consists of components input parameters output parameters and floating parameters input parameters are to make it easy to change data if you want those curves to be a part of rhino file you have to bake them so it will turn grasshopper geometry to rhino geometry so we'll right click on arc three point and attributes menu will appear then you can just select default and then bake the ba uh, click on ok tab which panel is the component located and then the geometry will be baked so uh, you can also uh, like if you want to know where the certain component is located you can just control plus alt you can press control plus alt and it will let you know where the certain component is located and also uh, you, if you want to find any component in a larger data you can go to edits find and you can type the name of the component and you can be able to find the that specific component in that data and it also keeps that arrow keeps on moving to make you understand where the specific uh, component is located in which direction it is located thank you for watching the video